somebody was doing up on frickin' roof at night. I think it's probably a balcony, rooftop balcony or something. What's up, guys? What's up, guys? What's up? Hey, man, how you doing? We get there, and the building had, like, a three-story roof. So on the way to the back, I'm just thinking this girl is dead. Is she on the other roof, or is she on the ground? She's right here on, on the, the ground. ground. Did she fall off the set, the top roof, or this little part? Right, right here on the slant. Right, right here on the slant. OK, that's a big difference. This girl was laying flat on the ground, still talking to us. Fell about 15 feet. She says she slid off. She was smoking cigarettes. Well, my proof that cigarettes kill, right? Hold on, baby. Let us do the work, OK? Where's the board, Gav? Right, right there. Yeah. On a call like this, you know there's going to be the possibility of back and head and neck trauma. So you have to make sure that you got the spine board, the neck collar, and the head brace, because you don't want to move them until you take all those precautions. OK, babe. OK, but where are you saying ow for? Her ankle. OK. Did she get knocked out, Teddy? Did you get knocked out, baby? No. You remember everything that happened? I fell through. OK. All right, stretches right here, Ted. The worst case scenario on a fall like that is maybe if she struck her head, having a skull fracture and a lead in her brain. You ready? Let's go get in the truck. Or probably a fractured spine or a severed spinal cord from that distance. Hey, Doc, how you been? I did get drunk, I'm sorry. That, that's OK. Can you feel me touching your toes? No. You do not feel? Do you feel him touching your feet? <clears throat> no. It's concerning that the patient's telling us that she can't feel her feet. It could mean a spinal injury or some sort of paralysis. Holly. Hey. Hey. We needed to get this patient to a facility that could treat serious spinal injuries. University is our trauma center in the area. That's where she absolutely needed to go. OK, my back hurts. Oh, my god, ow. Oh, my god, my back hurts. I just wanted to sleep. Did that help any? OK, good. Spinal precautions are a very important factor after some sort of blunt traumatic injury. Anybody who takes a fall like that and then tries to get up most likely would have been dealing with something a lot worse than what was already there. You know where we're going? Eighth and seventh. Unresponsive, fell off a ladder. Anytime they uh, fall off a ladder, it's never good. Uh, uh, Especially off a roof. Yeah. Second story fall, wasn't even a single story. Ooh. Is he out of it still? No, he's awake. He's talking. He's feeling everything. He's still up on the roof? Yeah. OK. We'll carry him out on the spine, boy. Come on. Kind of late at night to be doing that, huh? Yeah. 3217. Give us an access delay. Be careful. This guy's landed on an overhang and busted some support beams. Getting to him is going to be really difficult and very dangerous. Hang on. Hang tight, buddy. Hang on. You know your name? All right. You know what today is? No. OK. You know where you are? Uh, That's OK. That's OK. You got any medical problems? Seizures? This guy actually may have just had a seizure off the ladder. The patient not being able to answer our simple questions indicated to us that he could possibly have a concussion. Hi, my man. Hang on. Hang tight, buddy. You secure his neck with a seat collar, and then we had to get him on the spine board so we could safely get him off of the roof. This is about as good as it is to right here. Right there? All right. How y'all want to do this? Yeah. Y'all tell me. Well, I was thinking if we slid him sideways like this, and we had two guys underneath. Okay. Even just the slightest shift, you could hear the metal creep. Definitely all those. Strands. We had to be pretty quick and methodical about how we got this guy down. Hang on. Yeah, slide him to you. 
one wrong move, one wrong step, we could all go down. All right, you ready? All right, oh, man, guys. hang on, hang tight, buddy. Watch your step, Daddy. I'm, yeah, I'm coming through. To watch my step, believe me. Get the head. I'm gonna All right, let's train him down. Look at the roof. Be careful. Hey. Wait a minute. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's train him down. We won't know what the full extent of his injuries are until we get him in the back of the truck. But we do know that he's at least fallen about 10 to 15 feet, landed on his head, and is now confused. You fell off the roof, buddy. Are you hurting anywhere? No. Got a laceration on his arm. He's got deformity right there. Got some bruising. Open your mouth for me. You messed up your teeth, bro. You're still pretty, though. <laughs> you don't remember falling? No. What do you remember? You don't remember nothing? You probably had a seizure off the roof. New Orleans EMS University patient report. I'm bringing you a 43-year-old male, fell approximately 12 feet off of a ladder onto a sheet metal roof, got some deformity to his right chest, history of seizures. The patient doesn't remember the incident. Take a deep breath. Deep breath. Yeah, you got no air movement on that right side. Hey, just a heads up, just checked his lung sounds. He, he is uh, slightly diminished right there at that uh, chest wall abrasion. Anytime you hear diminished lung sounds on one side or the other, you start to take into consideration that he may have popped a lung. And what we're gonna see in room four, what's your ETA? Bottom of your ramp. Room four, Teddy. Room four? Uh, come on, big man. You think it's gonna be busy? Yeah. Call comes in for a 15-year-old male having a seizure. We got Possible seizures. Holy crap, look at the people. What in the world? Rescue four on scene. He's pretty knocked out. He's been out like this since. How old is he? How old, how old is he? How old is he? The shop owner tells me that we have a kid that was running, slipped, fell backwards, struck his head on the ground, had seizure-like activity, shaking and thrashing about, and has been unconscious. I don't know if the seizure happened before he fell. Probably he fell. after. Probably Season after. after the fact. Oh, the biggest thing now for us to thank is this kid has a head trauma. You want to put a collar on him? Yep, put a collar on him, put him on the bed. He's good. Strap his arms in. Just load him up. What's up, brother? Is he awake now? He's open his eyes. Here. That's what we want. Open your eyes. No, calm down. Relax. Season. Relax, Jeremy. As we get him in the back of the truck, the patient becomes highly combative, typical of someone with a good amount of head trauma. He's having a moment. Ah. Strong like ox. He is strong. Ah. Hey, listen, Jeremy, listen. I'm Lieutenant Maver with Tampa Fire, OK? You fell and knocked yourself out, brother. OK? So you need to kind of just relax. We've got you strapped down because we don't we want to make sure you don't have any kind of injury. I'm just going to clean your eyes. Give him the better man. Yeah. I'm going to move the trauma. Huh? Uh, unequal pupils. All right, then we're caught for trauma. Trauma is wrong. One of his pupils is bigger than the other usually signifies there is a great possibility for a brain bleed. It's imperative this kid get to CAT scan as soon as possible. It's Tampa Fire Rescue 4. I got a 15-year-old male, slip and fall, head injury, possible seizure activity. The next 48 hours for this patient are going to be very crucial. Instead of virus right now, he's been fighting this the whole time. If the patient has a brain bleed, he's going to be watched over and over every hour for the next 48 hours to make sure it's not getting any worse. There you go, buddy. Just relax. There you go. So it takes four milligrams of knocking ox down. Easy. Don't, hey, listen, don't be scared, OK? We're going to get you checked out, all right? 32 count, two to Kid fell, slipped in a puddle, fell back, hit his head. That was a good call, though. For a ground level fall. That was about as extensive as it gets. Yeah. Combative. Yeah, when he woke up and he was combative, I was like, he's got to have something going on there. No, he was out. He was that out. kid was out. I haven't seen anybody knocked out like that since Tyson. Rescue 11. Engine 12 is requesting an additional unit. It's for a 50-year-old male who's fallen. He has several alterations to his head. Please acknowledge. Rescue 11 responding. Oh, yo, 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 yo. You wearing your seatbelt? Yes, sir. All right. All the time. We're going to a 50-ish year old male who fell and hit his head, and he has a hand injury. He 
had a couple of drinking drinks. So he altered. Mile, 1.6 miles, you're gonna make a left on elbow. It's elbow? Elbow, baby. With an E, elbow? Elbow, like. Elbow, elbow, okay, all elbow, right. Like elbow macaroni. Oh, those are good, man. We <laughs> made macaroni from scratch the other day at the house, baking it, Velveeta, and then shredded cheese nah, on top. Nah, you can't use Velveeta, man. Listen, that's what it costs for the recipe called for, brother. Nah, nah, that's Wait, not. Wait, we threw jalapenos and some nah, of it. Nah, that's not real I'm macaroni gonna invite, cheese, I'm going to invite you over. It tasted like real macaroni and cheese. You got to use real cheese. There was some real cheese on top of it, if that counts. Inside. <laughs> What you got, Cap? Well, he's now got a couple of good cracks on one on the side, one on the back, and I'm bleeding a decent amount, but uh. of course he's disoriented. But oh wow, he's got a good little gash there. Cracked his coconut, his head open on the, the curb. And it was a good, a good black on the back of his head. Nobody was with him. Just walking. Six pack. The blood is coming out like an afternoon thunderstorm in Tampa. Sir, we're going to put a collar around your neck, OK? But for to help your spine, we don't know if you've injured it, OK? We need to get you over to the hospital. I don't want to blame you. Yeah, listen, we're going to get you over to the hospital. Relax. Hey, you got a big old cut on your head, OK? Watch your, watch your dog. Strain your legs out for you. Our main concern is to get IV so we can dump some more fluid into him for all the blood that he's losing. What's going on? Listen. He took a, a really good call, OK? Just try to relax and reach over to the hospital. You need to get looked at, OK? Trust us, OK? My name's Tony. Tell me what year yes. is it? Yes. Year now? Yeah. Oh. All right, who's the president? No doubt he had to have a concussion. Give me a big old pinch on this arm, OK? One, two, and three. Relax, relax. The other worry is with the force that he hit his head. Does he have any bleeding in the brain? I want to put some pressure on it, though. Let's try to wrap this again, OK? Huh? Spandages that they've wrapped is full of blood. Just have someone to hold pressure, hopefully, keep him from bleeding out. Good job, brother. Thanks, brother. Give me some. Oh, yeah, definitely, brother. Hold on a minute, babe. I don't know how we're going to get her out of there. OK, so this is broken. I don't know. No, I'm telling you it is. There's no other way to get her out of this little space other than to physically pick her up, straighten her legs out, move her. I'm going to do an IV on you, OK? Because when we go to move you, it's probably going to be pretty painful. Do you know what happened? You want me to tell you the truth? Did somebody push you down or hurt you? Um, I ran too much, and I just OK, that's fine. I think we're on. That's, that's all I need you to do is just be on. That's it. Man. All right. This is very difficult getting her out of that little space and also trying to prevent further injury. One, two, three. Out, out. That hurts too much. Just don't move. I need you to relax. You relax. The biggest concern with a hip fracture is going to be internal bleeding and neurological deficits. Out. Yeah. The nerves have been cut off or compressed in some type of way. All right, listen, we're going to roll you this way, OK? She wasn't in a life-threatening situation at that moment, but it could progress to that. That leg straight. Doing fine. Out. Out. I know, I know. Did Keep you your arms right there for me. Just like that, baby. You ready? One, two, three. I can't believe I'm making such a scene. You're making no scene. Yeah, I am. No, you're not. I do think I That's it. really hurt myself. Well, your hip's broken. I could feel it. 6249. I got a unit that's coming in with a 60 year old female. She's got a right hip fracture to medial rotation and shortening. Our vital signs are within normal limits, and they are going to be there to you in about five or 10 minutes. Safe, be strong. Let's do this. Get that stretcher in here. You're gonna bleed to death. Grand <gasps> Grand
No, they're not dead. I can work with that. 